hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session i will share with you how you can use roboflow custom pre-trained model for your project so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as i mentioned how we can use roboflow pre-trained custom model for project for that just open their official website and then just sign up with your gmail id i will mention their official website link inside description box you need to simply copy paste the link inside web browser and then login in with your gmail id then you will see this kind of dashboard simple and then we want to go here universe just select it universe and then we have their universe page open like this way this is what a data set ton of data set for custom projects so here i will search for real and fake face let's just say i want a pre-trained model for detecting real or fake face so i need to simply mention my project name or we can say what uh, I want to search means what kind of data set I need for my project just mention the name so I have mentioned here real fake face and then just hit enter now it will search what we want means what we enter what is our need so my need is real fake face data set so it will search for a data set now this is the data set as you can see this is the data set so here i don't want only the data set let's just say i want a model also which i can use directly in my project so for that simply this is what my project name real fake face and then just click on has model just select it has model tab and then now it will search a data set with pre-trained model pre-trained model so real fake face model i have already a uh, choose here one data set with model so if i scroll here and then i just want to go on no next page and this one this data set which i have choose face detect and here you will see the one model one model means the model which already trained with this data set now i just only want to use the model so as i mentioned just mention the you mention your project name let me show you again first let's just sign up with your gmail id simple then you will see this kind of dashboard then click on universe and then mention the project name which you want to search what is your need what what kind of data data set basically you need so my need is real fake face real fake face detection so just hit enter then it will search a particular data set which you mention over here simple and then now i just i just don't want only the data set i want a model also so simply i will click here has model now now we have a data set along with the model here you will see here one model means this this data set which have 41 images also the model here 41 images also the model 470 images also the model simply you can check the model with just click on like this way. let me show you here the data set which i have already choose which is on the next page i can simply check online also so this is what the data set which i have choose for real fake face model so i will just click on the data set and then here click on try this model click on try this model from here you can simply choose your image or you can simply choose uh, the video file but now i want to use here my live webcam so simply what i will do so for that i will simply click on this api docs just click on api docs and then just scroll up and then here you will see try with webcam now you need to simply connect your usb web camera with your machine and then you can try this model online so let me just 
click on try this webcam it will start my webcam and then we have real time fake or live face detection simple as you can see it started my usb web camera and this is real time as you can see real so it says now the real face detection so now i have here uh, my image in mobile as you can see fake it says this is real person face and this is image so it's called a fake so this is how you can check your data set also in real time using your usb web camera now i want to use this model so for that simply let me just close try this try this with webcam then it will close your it will stop your web camera and then just scroll down and this is what our section which we want hosted api so this is the code which i want to mention inside my tony python id with this code i can access this model in my tony python idv ide simple so for that how we can use for that we need a code so i have already create a code this is the repository i will mention the link you need to simply copy paste the link inside web browser so then go to the code click on download zip it will download our zip format repository as you can see we have downloaded then go to the file manager downloads and this is what our repository right click winrar and extract as a folder name it will extract our repository as a folder go inside folder and then we have our main.py simple and uh, for this project of course we need a basic packages which is open cv ultra analytics and cvzon so just install all these packages if you don't know how to use simply watch my playlist then you will get the idea so i have done with basic package installation so for this particular project because we want to access a roboflow uh, model so for that we need a new package which is this one this one so just copy it from here copy it open tools manage packages and then just paste it and then click on search on pypy first package click on install button done that's it and then now there is no need to change for for these modules there is no need to change anything now here it is as you can see if you open uh, let me open here this is what code snippets as you can see hosted api the code which you see here initialize the client initialize the client the code which is this as you can see client here this one this is this this is the code lines which i have mentioned over there here as you can see simple so so first you need to copy these three lines just copy as it is just copy it and then open your tony python id we have our code and then mention that three lines over here over here simple and then just scroll down no need to change anything i have mentioned here zero zero is for our usb web camera if you want to use your video file simply you need to mention over there your video file name done and then just scroll down scroll down and then this is the next thing which we want to mention if you open their again page this is the next thing result as you can see just copy as it is copy as it is and mention here as you can see i have already mentioned for this project this is the name face detect vracc so here you will see here it is as you can see face detect vracc so these three lines which we want to mention over here here simple and then the result line just copy as it is result line which we want to mention over here here done that's it that's it and then i have mentioned the code which we can use with the model which already train with roboflow universe data set simple so here it is as you can see inside this result we have a data so let me show you here because i have already mentioned the code so we have detection but here you will see i have printed the result so if i run the code it will start my web camera and then we have detection the real and fake detection 
uh, here it is as you can see it says real because this is the real face and so now here it is as you can see inside shell let me stop the code inside shell we have data we have results data so from this results from this result we want here with uh, sorry not this with this with is basically for frame we want here prediction this one mm. let me start again code then we have here i think no there is a x y z yes we have got as you can see friends so when because we are printing here a result so inside shell you will see with here predictions this predictions so here it is as you can see if the prediction from this results from if the predictions from this results so inside this results we have here predictions predictions and this prediction is basically our x y width and height this is what our detected object rectangle coordinates x y width and height and then here i have convert this x y width and height for normal normal rectangle format in x y1 x2 and y2 simple so x1 is basically our x minus width divided by 2 y1 is basically our y minus height divided by 2 x2 is basically int x plus width divided by 2 and y2 is basically int y plus height divided by 2 so now there is no need to change anything simple you will get the detection with class result after that after here here it is as you can see we have here class name also so this is the project where i want to detect face is real or user is basically showing the image from mobile so for that the class is basically the real if we detect a real person face then we have real class if we, if i show my image so it will say that they, they, this is basically fake so we have here real and fake class so class is basically real or fake so from this class here it is as you can see class label and because this all these things inside predictions so here we call predictions here it is as you can see for pred in results and then prediction is the dictionary so inside that we have all the data so we have basically class so this pred dot get class then we will get the class names it is really easy so pred is basically we mention over here as you can see for pred in this prediction because we mention here a for loop so this pred dot get we will get a class simple now let's just run code and then i will show one more data set also how you can use so i will show here so this is what a real time as you can see it it will start over my usb web camera and then here it is as you can see it says the real simple and if i show the image like this way as you can see real and fake detecting real and fake detection so this is how you can use roboflow pre trained custom data set model for your project now i will show you one more data set so now we will select here one more data set so let's just go with license plate recognition just select it and then go to the api docs then here as i mentioned we want to copy this three lines client so just copy it open tony python id and i will comment my old data set api and i will mention here our new data set api as it is just copy it and just paste it done and then the next line which is this one result so just copy it open tony python id comment old one line or you can simply remove it and just mention the new one result line new one result line check if it is in line yes it is in line now 
for this data set there is only one class there is only one class which is a number plate so now here i need to change the condition so if class label real so of course the new data set so there is no real and fake so i will simply uh, make like this way i will comment all these things here also and then here also then all the things are good and then i will copy only rectangle method copy it and then i need cv2 put text rec method cv2 put text rec method for class name copy it and then just paste it here done and then check if it is in line done so this is what the changes you want to mention for new project so now if i save the code if i run the code it will start my usb web camera and then we have detection your image is not defined yes because here i want to mention this name this variable because this variable is my usb web camera so i want to mention instead of your image jpg i need to mention image base 64 img base 64 done just save it and run the code now i have here a uh, number plate image inside my oh, also here because by default you will see here i have changes in the code so by default you will see here there is a result variable so i have mentioned here results basically results so i need to simply mention here results that's it just save it and run the code now it will start our web camera and then as you can see this is what our live frame and i have here a number plate inside my mobile so if i show as you can see license plate it's detecting license plate it's detecting license plate and you you clearly see there is no there is no need of images there is no need of label img software then create the model and then all other things you need to simply download the code then create the roboflow account choose your uh, data set means whatever project you want or uh, you just mention that name you will get the result just select the model and just use the method which i have show you and then you will get a result so i have mentioned the full code i hope you will learn something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye